Okay, so welcome to the second video in the Microbit tutorial um, series. In the first one, we learned how to get to the Microbit website, how to get ourselves onto the block editor, the Microsoft block editor on that site, and we learned a very basic piece of code whereby we used a forever loop to show a string hello, and then we learned if we pressed run, it would run on our micro bit, uh, digital micro bit that's on the side of the screen here. So as you can see, that's just going to loop around the word hello forever. But now we want to be able to use some of the features of the micro bit, some of the things that are built into the micro bit that we can program to change the functionality of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just going to pop it back into the menu and that um, removes it to the bin. And first things first, we're going to use the button functionality of the micro bit. So the micro bit uses two buttons. We can program button A, we can program button B, and we can also program it so when both buttons are pressed and there's a button on um, the digital micro bit that allows us to do that and try it out. Now how can we program these? We need to go to the input uh, menu and as you can see at the top straight away there is a button pressed function. So this basically states on button A, so whenever button A is pressed do the code that is inside. Uh, we can change to A or B or indeed the A and B together. So what do I want to do when um, I press the button? So just to show you the functionality, I'm going to use a show string and I'm just going to put in the letter A when the, letter, when the button A is pressed. Now if I run this, as you can see that, that stopped flashing that message because it's not part of this program, but if I press button A a will appear on the screen. Now just to extend this program, again I'm going to add a different input. I'm going to say when button B is pressed, I'm going to show string B. And if I run that, as you can see if I press A, A is there. If I press B, B is displayed. Okay, now previously I want to show you one more thing. Previously I built this up from scratch, but actually I could have used um, the duplicate function by right clicking on one of these I can duplicate just move it away I can change that to A plus B and this time I'm gonna say both I'm gonna flash that across the screen now when I run again and it says both I press A it will show the letter A and B. So this shows you how you can very basically control the buttons when they're pressed, what you do. You can put anything inside of here, whether it's displaying a message or whether it's communicating with something else via the pins. Um, we'll learn a bit more about that later on. 